Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Pisces. How are you guys? Hope you're well. I'm going to keep the readings a little bit shorter this week. I will have singles readings up on Monday. You can check out my playlist then. Hopefully there'll be a message there for you, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with your energy. The overall energy surrounding Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Clear messages. There we go. Five of Wands. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? There we go. I'm going to get all the cards out before I go through this. Pisces. Clarity for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Too many. Just one, please. There we go. Thank you. Some of you have options. You're keeping your options open. You see the possibilities with somebody here. I feel like you want to initiate a conversation with someone or you have a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio wanting to initiate something with you. Somebody could be kind of fantasizing about you. <laughs> they see the possibilities, though. There's someone's making a choice. Uh, there could be some obstacles or challenges. Uh, maybe there's competition. You may be competing for someone's attention here. It's possible. Let's have a look here. Pisces. Elder of Chalices. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I feel that yourself. Yeah, so some of you are definitely, you may feel like there's not a lot of hope here. I feel as though you have uh, options. You see the possibilities that someone may have other options. You may be initiating a conversation. Might be a little apprehensive because of it. You may feel like there's no hope here. Uh, I feel as if you don't reach out, you feel like you're going to regret it. So I kind of feel like you're going to. I do. I feel like you will. I, I I feel as though there's definitely challenges and obstacles. It's like you're kind of fighting for what you want here. Uh, I do feel like you may have options. You may be reaching out to some of these people, seeing the possibilities. Uh, I feel as though if you don't, you are going to regret it. I feel as though you are. I do feel as though it's kind of like no regrets, I feel. Uh, you are very mature, emotionally mature. You've had a tough time in love. You've had a lot of obstacles, competition, maybe a lot of conflict in your love life. But I feel like you're kind of overcoming that energy. Uh, I feel as though you are ready to initiate something. <laughs> Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio around you as well. Yeah, so the initiated pentacle. So you are going to be very practical, just an everyday conversation. Uh, I feel as though you're looking at the details. You're kind of planning something. Uh, you want to have success. So you don't want to have any regrets. So you're going to take kind of take your time and look at things carefully uh, before you initiate this because you want it to be very successful. Nice energy. All right, Pisces. That one wants to come out. Yeah. Yeah, you're a little worried about rejection. Some of you have had a lot of obstacles and challenges, a lot of conflicts in your love life. Uh, you may have been rejected before, or you have someone here you're not so sure about as well. Some of you are just kind of bored too. So you may be seeking out other options and possibilities. You may be, you may have had a conflict with somebody or some challenges here, but I think you're taking action. I think you're going to be the one to initiate something. If it's not you, it's another person. You may have somebody who's older than you, wiser. Uh, they may telling you, you know what, reach out or you'll regret it. But I feel like this is that planning stage where you look at the details, you're offering something because you don't want to regret it you're going to look at the details carefully so i feel like you're planning success yeah i see this energy some of you too i feel as though you are aware you could be rejected i do think some of you are just bored or there's just this unsure you, know, you have options possibilities people around you you want this emotional fulfillment some of you are um there are some people that you're not interested in they're not right 
you may reject a few people here, uh, but you are moving towards emotional fulfillment. I feel like you're not going to, it's sort of like just no regrets. It's like you're just kind of initiating uh, with other people, exploring your options. Yeah, there is an energy of kind of holding back, feeling stuck, feeling like you kind of need to protect yourself. Some of you have somebody here that you aren't sure you maybe want to initiate a conversation maybe you feel like they have other options or they're treating you like one so i feel there's this a little bit of negative energy maybe you've been feeling a little bit negative um, maybe you've had some rejections in your life and you've just had to walk away i feel like you kind of turn your back on the feelings you're trying to just keep that positive energy you're keeping moving forward towards emotional fulfillment you are protecting yourself some of you are saving saving money i see this energy yeah you are definitely planning something here you may be saving money for something but i do feel like you are moving forward oh my goodness let's see where we're at here tell me about the five of wands yeah so some of you are single Looking out for yourself, taking care of yourself. You're making some kind of plans. Some of you, I think, are tired of being single. You're just initiating. You're init and you know, you're reaching out to people. You have options. You're exploring these other options. Some of you are getting your hair done. You're taking the initiative. <laughs> you're doing everything just right. You're you're planning something here. You're looking into the future. Very nice. I do think you're saving money for something here as well. Something that you're planning. Uh, see, there it is. You may have someone who sees the possibilities of being with you. I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Some of you are, you know, getting new clothes. You're looking at options. You are taking the initiative. You're taking action. You're fighting for what you want. You may even have a few people competing for your attention. You may see the possibilities. Um, you may be looking at all the single people around you, too. <laughs> wow, I haven't seen a reading like this in a long time. Good for you, Pisces. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. There we go. Yeah, and a little bit regress, regret, remorse, or a little bit of stress. Yeah, some of you are initiating something. You may have some kind of regrets. Maybe you rejected somebody and walked away and you're regretting it. Maybe you were kind of protecting yourself or feeling a little stuck. There may be somebody who's holding on to you. It's either holding on or holding back. We'll see here. I feel it's like you're just doing it. You, It's like no regrets. Some of you are single. You have options. Maybe someone there's someone around you that was single. Maybe they treated you like an option. But I, I feel as though you're just, you're making plans. You're looking out for yourself, looking out for number one, taking care of yourself. You may be getting, like I said, new clothes, looking at all the possibilities. You're ready for action. You're ready for a good time. I, I even see possibility of some kind of um, parties, getting together with people, having a really good time. Uh, I do feel like you are a little bit on the introverted side at times, though. And I do feel like that's an energy where um, there's, there's been a little bit of stress. There's no doubt, a little bit of worry. But I feel as though there's that energy of that regret. So you're making a decision. You're just releasing these regrets. Uh, you're going for something. You're shedding that skin. You're making a decision to initiate. Well, you have a person around you. Maybe you held back and you didn't initiate or somebody else did and they're regretting it. Tell me about the initiate of chalices. Somebody may be reaching out, making a decision with judgment, but this is a healing energy. It's no regrets, letting go of stress and worry and just going for it. Yeah, there's that cup. If it's not you, it's another person. I do feel like you are ready for love, ready for some action. I think someone is looking to see if you're single. They're looking at the possibility. Someone's about to make a choice. You may have someone who's choosing you or you are the chosen one, <laughs> right? I don't know where that came from, but it definitely just, it just came out of nowhere. So that's the way it works. Oops. Yeah, so I do feel that you are ready for a commitment, a relationship. I feel like you're planning your future. 
I feel someone sees the possibilities of being with you. You may have someone who may have rejected you. They may be regretting it. I think you're just letting it go. You're just kind of blowing it off. Yeah, there's that leap of faith. You're reflecting on something from the past. One last look over your shoulder and you're going for it. I feel as though it's you. So let's see what's happening with this initiate of pentacles. Yeah, you're going to go for it, but you're planning success. You're taking your time. You're looking at the details before you take this leap of faith, before you go off on this new path. Someone regrets. They have some regret and remorse here for not taking a risk with you. They could be an Aries. Someone may have chosen another person instead of yourself. Maybe you initiated something. Maybe this person made a bad decision. Maybe you did. I don't know. But yeah, look at that energy. I see a Taurus energy. Could be a Taurus that's initiating something with you. But I feel this is an energy of you're going off on this new path, taking this leap of faith, this risk. Um, something to do with faith, the way you conduct yourself, your belief, your traditions, and your habits. It's like you're forming some kind of new habit. You're just going for it. I feel like you're exploring options. And I do think someone sees the possibilities uh, with you. Uh, they may be making this decision. They may have other options as well. Ooh. Tell me about, yeah, there we go. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So you have somebody up in their head thinking. Could be somebody who um, made a bad decision. A judgment. Someone's, now either you rejected them or they rejected you or there's just an energy of being bored where somebody is emotionally drained, spending too much thinking, not enough time taking action. Yeah, so somebody, there's something lacking. Someone here is feeling lonely, feel like they're lacking something. A little bit of loneliness, feeling bored. Um, could be yourself as well, but I feel you've got somebody up in their head here. Someone's doing a lot of thinking, a lot of regret, remorse. Maybe someone didn't treat you right. They feel badly about something. Uh, someone may have, you may have taken a risk with somebody. You may have had faith in this situation, faith that things were uh, going to move forward, that there'd be success here. But I feel like may, this person may have actually rejected you at some point. I feel like they regret this. Yeah, see, is someone here who didn't treat you right? They may be kind of lonely, missing you, thinking about you. Something about safety, security, being reliable, stable. Maybe somebody didn't have enough money. Maybe they felt you weren't stable or a partner. Someone made a bad decision. But I do see uh, this energy of people being not right for you okay uh, someone here is just not right someone maybe didn't treat you right either maybe they want you to reach out to you know to initiate a conversation to a fresh new start a decision could be a reconciliation like i said for some but i actually feel pisces i i feel this energy where you're just taking risk you're just uh, you're ready to go off on this new path. You're just leaving behind this feeling like there's no hope. You're changing your tradition, your habits, the way you're conducting yourself. Maybe you took risks in the past and you're not anymore or you never did and now you are. <laughs> now, new habits, new patterns, right? Uh, having that faith, initiating, having the faith to initiate something. Definitely something to do with commitment, marriage, uh, habits tell me about this eight of cups why is this here just one on the eight of cups please just one there we go taurus virgo capricorn some of you definitely have some options around you i see a gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn strong taurus a little aries energy could be within yourself or another person 
my goodness yeah you've got somebody here you're, you're moving you're walking away from someone but i feel like as though you have somebody who uh, was lacking yeah, somebody here who is very strategic they may have rejected you but i feel like you have this other person here as well somebody financially stable practical very grounded uh, you may have a choice these are your options is what i feel or somebody is seeing this energy within yourself king of pentacles somebody is making plans someone may have felt you were holding on to them for money you know, they may have been very stuck protecting themselves their money their future this is maybe how they conduct themselves but i feel there's definitely regrets and remorse i see strength yeah someone gaining that strength and calmness taming the beast within themselves finding the confidence somebody was holding back trying really really hard to hold back there's something lacking this person's up in their head they're doing a lot of thinking about their regrets so i feel as though whatever it is oh i feel like you're both holding on to each other you both may have kind of held back from the other person you both may have a kind of protecting yourself no, there's definitely a soulmate connection. Some of you have a choice between two. So some of you are going to let go of somebody here. Somebody you've been holding on to. I feel like there's just no regrets. You're just going to let go and release it because you have this offer, this cup, uh, the opportunity for a fresh new start, a whole new path. Uh, I feel some of you, it's definitely a Taurus. There's definitely a strong connection, some kind of bond. I feel this is somebody who's definitely financially stable. I feel there's somebody who's not always the most emotional. So this is what they hold back is their emotions. They try really hard not to emotionally connect, but it's there. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this two of cups. Yeah, so you have a new beginning here. Some of you, it could be a new person. You may be letting one last look over your shoulder. Some of you are off on a new in a new direction. You're doing something different here. Or it's this person. I kind of feel like it could be the person. But you are, you've had a tough time in your love life, but you want commitment. You want someone with a solid foundation. You want a partner, someone you can rely on, financial stability. And I do feel someone may have felt you were holding on to them for money or maybe you feel that way about them. But there's something becoming very clear here. Someone's gaining that strength and confidence by taming the beast within themselves, okay? There's definitely a very strong connection, a very strong pull. I feel there is this new beginning. Something is about to become illuminated. It could very well be a new person. Yeah, I feel there's this purging and releasing here. Uh, letting go. I feel some of you have a new person. This is somebody quite popular, maybe even famous. Somebody who gets a lot of attention, possibly. Someone may be expressing themselves, may have felt you were out of their league. But there, there's this healing, this letting go, this purging, releasing old relationship baggage. Yeah, I feel like you've got a new person. This is somebody here who's thinking of investing. Okay, so some of you have been waiting patiently. Uh, while you've been waiting, you've been going through a healing energy of letting go of that old baggage. Things that you're holding on to uh, that you no longer need. I see the clarity, the new beginning, everything being illuminated. So some of you have a new person. And I do think you are thinking of investing in this person. But I do feel um, that this person is... They may be just waiting for the right opportunity. I do think you're letting go of someone here who's not good enough. You can't rely on them. They're not stable. You want, you've got someone here who's more stable. And that's what I feel like you want. Someone you can count on. I see two people here coming together to look out for each other. Uh, very strong connection, emotional connection. But someone's trying to not get emotionally connected. They're releasing that energy and healing it. They're ready to invest. You will not invest in somebody who doesn't, okay? Isn't healed or hasn't let go of their baggage, past relationships. So that's an interesting energy as well. Somebody waiting for the right opportunity. I feel like somebody... Uh, definitely values you. They're becoming very clear. They see your worth and your value. 
they see this value of healing and releasing old baggage too. Uh, things that they're invested in that no longer and serve them. Isn't that interesting? Wow, Pisces. Tell me about the Hierophant. I want to dig just a tiny bit more. It's starting to get dark even with my windows open. Yeah, so there is a uh, some, oh my goodness, yeah, there's that pinnacle, that seed being planted, the tradition, the habit, uh, some kind of a commitment. Someone is now thinking of investing and committing. You may go for this, or I, I feel like it's this person taking that leap, that risk. You have somebody who didn't want to take a risk, so I feel as though you're leaving them behind. Somebody didn't want to uh, commit. They didn't want to risk something here. I feel they're protecting their money themselves. Uh, this is somebody very strategic up in their head. Who is this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy? Who is this person? It could all be one person. Tell me about this King of Swords. Who is this person to Pisces? Who is this person? This is somebody you were waiting for. This is one of your options, maybe somebody you were waiting for. I feel that you are no longer waiting for this person. There's something lacking. Some of you are lonely, you're getting bored. You want a partner. You want someone to spend time with, someone to be close with. Uh, you want to build a future with somebody. I think you've got your person here. I think there's a strong connection. Uh, even if somebody didn't admit it, I do feel it could be a reconciliation with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It looks like very strong Taurus, uh, but it could go either way. Wow. Yeah, this is somebody who is, you, you will not invest in someone who doesn't release whatever it is they need to release, their old relationship baggage. Maybe that's what this person needed to have a fresh new start, a new beginning. Some of you, it is a new person though. Tell me about the strength. Somebody very strong, very confident. I feel this is somebody who... I do feel that they use all the strength they have to not emotionally connect right away, though. They want to make sure you're maybe you're invested first. I see a lot of communication back and forth. Uh, they could have a little Aries in their chart. I see some of you, yeah, you're taking all your passion and energy. This person's going to communicate with you. They're coming in very fast, very strong. Uh, I feel they have some very strong words, a lot of passionate energy. So somebody making some kind of plans. Now this could be them making plans here um, to do things in a traditional manner, to maybe commit, to offer you that you know, something solid. Yeah, so this is somebody who's going to date you in a traditional manner. You have somebody wanting to court you in a traditional way. Very nice. They do have kind of one foot in the door and out, though. It could be yourself, one foot in the door and out, not 100% sure. But I do feel like, you know, I feel like you're the one who wants to court this person. Uh, whether you're uh, masculine or feminine energy, I feel like you're the one who actually is going to initiate this. I, I got to be honest. I feel as though you are going to go after this person. You have this strong connection with this person. You're going to gain your strength and your confidence and you're going to go for it. I think that you're going to start something. You're going to express yourself here. I think you, you're you going to let this person know you value them. You see them as a star, somebody very important to you. You're going to show them that you value them. There is definitely a level of respect here as well. Nice energy. Tell me about this four of wands. Yeah, you're letting go of somebody here who doesn't want to commit. That you want commitment. And I feel like you're go I feel like it's you. I feel like you're just going for it. You're not 100% sure where it's going to go, but you're in that courting mode. <laughs> so nice energy. Let's see where this is headed. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? There we go. Yeah, you're going to play it safe. You're going to be cautious and wait for the right opportunity. Making sure this person is invested, that they value you. But I do feel like this is a courting. Now, it could be them courting you. They may also be a Pisces. I see Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aquarius. Um, Gemini, Libra, what else do we have here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
feel like this is yourself though somebody who's very single or maybe this is yourself or another person someone who has a lot of options but they're single they have a lot of people competing for them uh, a lot of people competing for their attention but i feel like you're kind of taking action and you're going after what you want yeah someone's planning to play it safe but they're taking action okay this is the energy Someone's planning to take action. They're planning something. And I do feel it could be something romantic. Uh, I feel this is, I do feel this is light. I don't feel a lot of heavy energy. I feel like you've got someone who sees you as a star. Uh, now I wonder if you had something you needed to release and heal. Maybe you needed to let go of something before you went off on a new path and this person was waiting for you. Maybe they wanted to make sure you were fully invested in them and not invested in a past situation. So take that as it resonates for you. But I feel it's very positive. One more card for Pisces. Where is this headed? What does Pisces need to know? There we go. Yeah, you are deserving of love. Be very conscious of what you deserve, okay? Uh, I feel this there's six there's movement you got two sixes things are moving forward but you're going to play it safe you're going to make sure this person sees your worth and your value you will kind of stay in single mode and likely keep your options open for a bit I do feel like you have a couple of people but I feel this one main person this earth energy uh, person they really could be anyone. In fact, they could just be somebody financially stable. Someone who's very strategic. Somebody who's very logical, very wise. But I feel like this is what you were waiting for this person to commit to show you they were reliable. But I feel like there's something lacking. You cannot rely. So I feel like you are no longer waiting. Okay? I feel spirits telling you don't sit around and wait for anybody. Keep your option open. Explore other options. There we go. Yeah. So things are increasing. Things are speeding up. You have a new cycle. There's going to be some clarity, definitely some healing. So I do feel you've gone through something where you've needed to release something, some kind of stress or worry uh, about a decision. You may have stressed or worried about maybe reconciling or making a decision to initiate something yourself, but I think you're going to go for it. And I think you're going to have uh, pleasant results here. I think things will speed up. I do feel like you could move toward a committed relationship. So it's very nice. You are deserving of love. Always make sure of that. And make sure whoever comes towards you, right? This is that energy of that respect, somebody who values you. But it's learning to love yourself first. Uh, and it's also this person. Lovely. All right, Pisces, take care of yourselves. Don't forget to check out my channel on Monday for the singles readings. Maybe this energy will be there and we'll get a little more information. So take care and bye for now.